All right, Jules, we need to celebrate the second greatest moment in the history of Leicester City <laughs> Football Club. Um, yeah. They win the FA Cup. I think, all right, there's two elements to it. There's the drama of the game itself, which I don't think was necessarily a great game, but we saw a tremendous goal from Yuri Tielemans. Wonderful. My Premier League Player of the of Year, course. as you know. Yeah. Um, and then the disallowed goal at the end, those Schmeichel saves at the end. Mm -hmm. um, this made everything feel more special, but even without it, I mean, if they'd won one nil with Jamie Vardy falling over in the box and getting a dubious penalty, let's take a step back. This is still incredibly special, what this club has done, the, the importance it has in its community, the fact that they're, as we record this in the top four, they may not be there at the end of the season, but the fact that they're there competing with clubs with twice the budget, yeah. the fact that, you know, Brendan Rodgers' rehabilitation. Yeah, completely. And they won the Premier League less than five years ago, which is pretty amazing, this whole this whole stretch and, and it what is. it's been. It is, and I don't know how long they can, they can keep it up and how long it will last, uh, because they've also been very good with their recruitment, and we saw Wesley Fofana again being amazing in that final. And there might be a point where if the recruitment is not as good, if Ronan Rogers decides to leave, Jamie Vardy will at some point retire and others might leave like James Madison or Yuri Le to maybe bigger club. I don't know. But, but we don't think it's going to happen this summer because of no. COVID, because of all those issues. And potentially the Champions League if they qualify. You know. And the Champions League. And, of course. And what I wonder too is they've had so many injuries this season. Even in this game, right? You know, you, you lose Johnny Evans and you send on the old guy, Wes Morgan. You know, Wes Morgan, who was old when they won the title five years ago, and presumably he's even older now. He, can, he, can, he could just about play in the last 10 minutes that <laughs> he, he came on for, really. But you're right. I mean, first ever FA Cup after four finals, <coughs> after four finals lost earlier. Uh, in the, the last one was 19, <laughs> 1969. Uh, incredible achievement, really, in a game where they were not favourite, in a game where I thought their game plan was perfect and where they frustrated Chelsea, who I thought were a bit too passive, to be fair, for most of the game. But it's such a great story for, for Kasper Schmeichel, for example, who must have dreamed about that when he was a kid, seeing his father win it. For Jamie Vardy, who became the first player ever in English football history to actually play in every single round of the FA Cup, including the first one, where only the... The one with the pub teams. Yeah, exactly, because, because that's how he started, that's where he started, which I think is incredible. Whether you like Jamie Vardy or not, it's incredible. 14 rounds, he's played in every single one of them and then won it in the end. And plus the Tillemann story, the Fofana story, West Morgan, True. who surely would retire after this. I mean, what a way of you finishing your so. career. You know, it's incredible. Uh, what I wonder is, because they've also had a tremendous amount of injuries this season, which normally doesn't happen when you have a team that, that kind of overachieves, mm -hmm. you know, exceeds its resources. But you know, from for, for, from from Madison to Vardy himself to yeah. Justin to Barnes, Barnes and Didi, so you too. <clears throat> and Didi, so, yeah, I mean, it's pretty remarkable. Mm. I'm wondering if everybody's fit next season. Can they actually? Can they actually? Maybe not unseat Man City, but. There's no reason they can't finish top four again next season, right? Yeah, if I think so. Fit. They could easily have finished top four last season, so they could have had two years in a row top four, although this season could have been different had they played in the Champions League, for example, or something like that. But Roger's doing a great job. And, and, and you do think, actually, if you look at the squad, the depth is quite interesting. Someone like Cengiz Zunda, for example. Yeah. You know, if he's fully fit and adapts well to the, to the league, to the country, could be an asset for them next season. So if you look at all the way, plus one or two new players in the summer, if they can find players as good as the Fofanas or the Barnes or whoever they have that is young in that team, or Madison, could be fantastic. Now they have an equally big game coming up um, tomorrow, actually, yeah. as we record Tuesday, this on, yeah. on Tuesday, against, uh, against Chelsea. It's, it's kind of game that if you win it, you're in the Champions League next season. You know, it's simple as. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering, that was playing on Thomas Tuchel's mind, I think, clearly when he sent the team out. Um, but Chelsea coming off of two consecutive defeats, it's got to undermine you a little bit, even if you're going to change mm. things with Havertz and Pulisic or, or, or whatever, but right? Still, after the Arsenal game, he said, I, I got it wrong in my lineup on Saturday. He got it wrong with his lineup. How, how is Rich James playing as a centre-back, even in a back three? What, because you're scared of the pace of Vardy and you're not sure, OK, I get it. But I'm sure there were other options there than playing Rich James in that position and as Billy Quetta a bit higher 
in that sort of partnership on the right hand side. I'm not sure about the substitutions and the timings I, of them. I have less of a problem with that, but uh, we're going to get into a lot more granular on this uh, on the Gab and Jewel show. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.